the weather is utterly pants today. I'm not even joking. The weather is terrible today and it's set to get worse. How you doing guys? Welcome back to the Sullivan family on this fantastic, windy, rainy, wet, drizzly, dreech Wednesday. How are you all doing? Um, can I just say first before we get into the video, thank you so much to everybody uh, who's commented so far in reference to our Friday. Who's this? Oh, hello, Joseph. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> In reference to our Friday live that's coming up, which we're really apprehensive and excited about all in one. Um, so far, I've had about 90 comments through Instagram and YouTube, which is amazing. Really, really appreciate the fact that you guys are so... <laughs> all right? Hello. All right? We really appreciate the, guy, the fact that you guys are so invested in our live, in our first ever live. Um, we've, I've actually got all the questions printed off and what we're going to do is we're going to choose, uh, well, well, we'll answer as many as we can within the time that we're doing our live, if you know what I mean. Yeah. You alright darling? Yeah? Also, can I just say before we get totally into the video, please subscribe to our channel guys and please hit the bell for notifications so you never miss a notification about our channel, a video, uh, a, you know, a, a community post or anything like that that we do. Little monkey, oh, yeah. not this little monkey, but this little one, this, this, this one, that one, that one there. She got up at three o'clock this morning, three o'clock, and then she was basically jumping up and down in her cot. And then Zoe got Zoe picked her up, put her in the bed. She was jumping on Zoe, jumping on me. That woke Joseph up. Joseph came in the bed. He was he was he was um, not that settled either. So uh, we had an early start this morning. I woke up at ten. Ten? Yeah. No, you didn't. You woke up about half past three. She, I, it was about three o'clock that little one there of course she's tired now she's tired well she doesn't look tired does she uh so teens have gone to school they've uh, they've literally just left we're just getting everybody else ready to go on the school run i think it's about eight o'clock in the morning or five past eight something like that ten past eight uh yes so loads of questions from you guys absolutely amazing um we'll obviously <laughs> we'll obviously answer as many as we possibly can without being on but without being live for 10 hours you know um bless him anyway i'm going to take my coat off i'm going to see what's going on that's better right let's see what everybody's up to i'm filming by the way everybody i'm filming what are you two up to what are you making oh hang on what are they called? Leah, you need to go for your hair. These are called blind bags. Blind bags. Hair. So Erin made me a blind bag yesterday and it was full of YouTube stuff, wasn't it? Yeah. And it was my YouTube play button, wasn't it? She made me a YouTube play button. Oh, that's Florence. She's very grumpy this morning. Are you making a blind bag as well, are you? No. Oh, cool, you've made a window. I do a two. <laughs> All right, okay. You need to go get your hair done, darling. I put these in there. Sorry, just had to stop to change a certain little somebody who needed changing. Are you alright, Zoe? Are you taking five minutes, are you? Are you alright? She's not. She's not at all. Are you? Zoe's got a bit of a sore throat today as well, haven't you? You're not, you're not 100% today, are you? No, I've got, no, I don't She's got a cold. I've got the lurgy. Got the lurgy. The lurgy. I think you might have it as well. Is that why you're so grumpy? Hey. You gonna come on the school run with Daddy? What's up? Do you wanna come on the school run with Daddy? No. 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 You wanna go Daddy. in the park? She's shock horror. She normally loves going on the school run. Do you not want to go today? Do you want to stay with mummy? Mm. Want to stay with mummy? Stay with mummy. Daddy. Yes. I love it. Erin made me a blind bag yesterday with all YouTube stuff in it. I think I already said yeah. that. But um, she made me one with the YouTube play button in it and all that because it's really cool. I've already said that. Probably. I don't know. Probably. Probably. Right. I'm going to get them ready. Joseph. Say hi. Hi. Did you go in? So I was hoping to take him. Oh, you're coming now, are you? 
You got socks on? Yes. I didn't put my middle finger up. <laughs> I put my index finger up, my pointy finger. You, 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 you. I wanted to take him out today for a walk. Uh, yesterday was a 100% admin day. We've got more, more stuff done. Snowing. And it was snowing. Thank you, Zoe. It was snowing yesterday as well. Um, so we couldn't get out at all. So I thought, right, great. So um, we'll get out today, we'll go for a walk, no chance. The weather is, the weather, she's so grumpy. She's so grumpy. Ready? <sighs> You're so grumpy. Wow. Yes. Oh yes, yes, let's do that, because that's amazing. So we have to show you something very special. This is, this is, um, Isabel's Easter cake that she's made us. Hang on two seconds. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? She's get, she is getting, I'll tell you what, she's getting better and better and better at making her cakes. How cool is that? She's got a new cake tin so she can do deeper cakes now. Which is the tall one. She's getting better and better and better at it, isn't she? She actually had an exam yesterday, didn't she? Her, yeah. Um, Cooking exam. She did, yeah. So her year five cooking, it's, it's equivalent to GCSE in um, in England, isn't nat it? Nat five. So it's nat fives in Scotland. Her cooking. She did nat five cake craft last year. Yeah. And she's doing nat five cookery this year. Yeah. But she's just smashing it, especially with making her cakes, isn't she? She's got the, the time management thing down because she's used to cooking at home. Yeah. Because she likes to cook at home. Yeah. We don't force her to cook, she likes to cook. <laughs> um, but she's got the so she handles the time management thing really well because obviously she's cooking for lots of different people yeah which is something that not all that many people of her age would have because they're not used to cooking you know because she'll help cook a meal for all of this lot so we might have spaghetti bolognese but then somebody else might have something else because they don't all eat the same they don't all necessarily eat the same of everything so she's kind of got that down to a T so yes. she did really well hopefully she'll um, get a good grade no. Yeah, I hope so. Cake looks amazing. Cake it? smells amazing. Smells amazing. Yeah, what? Right. Okay, cool. Right, listen. Listen, we need to get ready for school. Okay? We, we need to get ready for school. Because it's 25 past. Are you going to come to school as well, are you? It's quite dull today, isn't it? It's very dull. It's very dull. We want some sunshine, don't we? Daddy. I, I'm okay. I'm excluding people in Australia and stuff because you've probably got sunshine. But in Scotland, we need some sunshine. Right, let's get ready then. Sorry, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Bye. Yeah, I caught the baby. Quite good. Let's go get in the car then. I'm too good. I'm too good for my own good. Yeah, yeah. I'll be there. I'll be there in a minute. Even though.
Okay, she's still sleeping. Put her home. Alright, Joseph. I'm gonna try and put her down on for a nap on the sofa. She should be absolutely exhausted, especially after the start this morning. Right, I'm gonna try and put her down a minute. <laughs> Say hi, cheeky monkey. Somebody's woken up. Have you? Someone's woken up. Don't think she's very well, do we? Maybe we'll give you a bit of cow pole in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. She's definitely not her bouncy, her bouncy normal self. She's just slept for absolutely ages. And she's a. And she's a glam swan. Mm. And keeping an eye on her at the minute. Hello, baby. Mm. Just keeping an eye on you for a minute. So we've literally just got a couple. We've just got a few things, a few things done, and I've just checked. I've just checked the clock. I've just well, just checked my phone, and it's like just gone half past eleven. No idea. No idea where that morning just went. Hello, Joseph. You coming to have a chat? So, Daddy was going to try and get us outside for a walk today, but I don't think it's going to. Oh, no, no, you monkey. No, she's a bit grumpy. She's a bit grumpy, Jojo. Yeah, she's not feeling very well. We were going to try and get out for a walk, didn't I? Like I said earlier, um, but it's definitely. I don't want to come. No, I know. I don't blame you, Jojo. I don't blame you either. <laughs> it's horrible out there. But I do have to go and pick. Um, so Isabel from studies at the moment. So I do have to pick her up just after lunch, and then I'm picking Elizabeth up from. Um, town as well from college Mommy? after lunch. Mummy? Yeah. My legs think they're gonna fall back on the You're not gonna fall? Look, My legs are shaking. You can hold on to me if you want. Your legs are shaking? Why? That's hold on to daddy legs. That's why I'm cold. Cold? Yeah. Are you cold? Yeah. How are you cold? Yeah. Huh? It's just because. Alright, oh, okay. It's not that cold darling. Not in the house anyway. Don't tell me you're coming down with something as well. Mm. Is it? Yeah, it is it? Maybe I don't feel the cold as much. Get you, should you join me to get you a hoodie in a minute? Put a jumper on. Put a jumper on. Yeah? Yeah? Anyway, we are going to stop in a minute. Get off your monkey. We're going to stop in a minute uh, to do lunch. Yeah? Are you hungry yet? No! Hey! What are you doing? No! No! Ah, uh, enough. Enough. Enough being grumpy. Yeah, we're going to stop and do lunch. Um, no. You hungry? Joseph? Yeah. Good. I'm hungry. You hungry too? Shall I do some lunch then? Right, we're going to do some lunch. Right, <clears throat> as you can probably hear, I'm not 100% either. Um, I think I've caught the kids lurgy, although there isn't actually a lurgy going around. So I've caught something from somebody. Um, <coughs> I could feel it coming a couple of days ago as my glands had swollen up and I had a really sore throat. Um, so I knew it was coming. My chest is quite sore as well. So, you know, we carry on. But I think that might be what's the matter with Flo as well. So she's been up since about quarter to three this morning. She was tossing and turning, couldn't sleep. Um, then she'd go back to sleep, then she'd wake up, then she'd go back to sleep and wake up. So I think she might have her little glands are, um, are swollen. So she's obviously got the same thing. But touch wood. Hopefully it's not, um, it won't get any worse. So fingers crossed. 
I feel better. Actually, I feel a bit better today than I did yesterday. Yesterday, I just flaked out because I was just so tired last night. Um, had every intention of, of watching something on the TV last night. I wanted to watch that, um, the Kate Garraway um, thing last night, fell asleep. I wanted to do some, I've got some sweatshirts I need to do for, or some hoodies I need to do for the kids, fell asleep. Um, yeah, I've done that two nights in a row now, so I think, um, what day are we on? Wednesday. So Monday night, I started feeling a bit poorly. But still, I guess it's my body's way of saying we must rest. Um, so this morning, while I've got some energy, I've just been pottering about doing, you know, all those jobs that you just put to one side because they won't take very long. But you've got to do something else to do that job, to do something else. And it's just like, oh, I just can't be bothered. So... I had to get into my cupboard under the stairs and do a bit of a stock take of what I've got t-shirt wise, jumper wise, etc, etc in the cupboard because I accidentally bought some more t-shirts when I already had some in the cupboard. Not that that's a bad thing because obviously now I've just got more. Um, but yeah, so I did a bit of a stock take this morning, which is something I've had on my list to do for ages. Um, and... I also, I've also ordered in some pouches, some like zip up pouches to do. I did them a little while ago, um, but they were the bigger ones. So I've ordered some slightly smaller ones um, in to do, to put on to Leopard Fox with um, names and well, whatever you want on them really. I think before I did this, the small kind of pencil case size and then I did like the bigger makeup kind of bag size and then the even bigger ones. But the medium sized ones are quite nice, so quite a nice size, and you could put anything in them, you know, anything at all, anything you want. Um, you can use them as pencil case, you can use them as makeup, you can use them, you know, to put things in your handbag that you don't want rattling around the bottom. Um, anything, anything you want. So I'm going to put them back on. I've ordered some different ones to try as well. They haven't arrived yet, hopefully, they'll arrive today. Um, and my orders keep getting delayed at the moment, which is really annoying uh so what else oh i know what else um we had an email yesterday saying that joseph has definitely got a space at the school the same school that the girls and toby are at which is good because obviously um i really wanted him to go to that school so if he goes to school if you know what i mean um that was the school obviously if you've been following us you'll know the whole school journey um but if there was a school that i wanted him to go to it'd be that one uh number one because his brothers and sisters are there and number two because they've got um the uh asn accredited sorry my mind just keeps i see birds out the window and i'm like oh look bird um so yeah we got that email through yesterday <sighs> again I still don't know if we're making the right decision, but only time will tell. And I'd rather have given him a shot and not work, and it not worked out than not giving him a shot at all. Or, you know, he might, it might actually really help to regulate him. He might enjoy it. Um, it might help us help him. Who knows? But I just think without giving it a shot, We'll never know and I'll probably give myself a hard time over the never knowing. Um, the thing is, it's not, I'm not against school as such. I'm not against teachers. We've got some amazing teachers at um, the kids' school. They had parents' evening last night, the little ones, and they're all doing brilliantly. I say little ones, I mean Toby as well. They're all doing great at school and they've got some brilliant teachers. We get on really, really well with them. They're really, really good teachers. Um it's not it's the it's the whole institution if you like i'm not even going to get into it but you know what i mean it's the pressures that are put on schools especially secondary um up here and you know teachers end up not being able to teach um oh hello it's the cat they're not they end up not being able to do what they should be doing because of all the other stuff that you know the government put in i'm not even going to get into it because i'll be here all day ranting um but yeah i'm not anti-school i'm not anti-education anything like that um 
I think teachers do an amazing job in quite a difficult situation and quite often with not very much money, budgets, all those sorts of things. Um, you know, it's it's not that bit. It's the kind of system. The system is broken. Oh, the cat's sneezing. Which makes it very difficult for the teachers who are very good at their job to do their job. Do you see what I mean? Um, anyway, I'm not going to get onto that one because, like I said, I'll be here all day. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of pleased that he's got a space at that school. Don't know how I'm going to feel about him going to school. Don't know how he's going to feel. I'm going to be worried sick. Um, I think I've cried at every single one of them going to school. Every single one. I've cried each time. Doesn't get any easier. In fact, I think it gets harder. Um... I can't cope with it. It just gets because it just means that they're all. I I've seen it from. I see it from both ends now. You know when when we first dropped Lizzie off for her first day at school. Obviously, she was the eldest. Um, I think she was only four when she started school. Um, she was like four going on like twenty four. Bless her. She was always very studious. Very, you know, she needed to go to school and do stuff because she needed that kind of input she was constantly needed input lizzie when she was little i mean she's gone on to be like you know grade a student now she's studying at uni although it's and she's still at home but it's um a uni course she's doing a degree in fine art at the moment but she's actually going to take a year out and possibly go into a different degree because she's not sure that this is the right degree she wants to edge towards the animation side of things more um so she's looking at a degree in Dundee which is where kind of all the animation sort of stuff goes on down there um but yeah you know she's doing her first year of her fine art degree at the moment it's just coming to an end so she kind of always needed that input but when they're little like that obviously when she started school we had Elizabeth Olivia and the older twins the older twins were babies we lived down in Oxfordshire and you know, you've got their whole life. You think you've got years, years and years and years. And I remember people with teenagers would say to me, you know, just enjoy it while they're little. And you think, oh, because you're kind of knee deep in babies and toddlers and little ones. And it's the first time, obviously, with the older four, that was our first experience of having, they were all very close together. We had four under, do we have four under three at one point? Oh, hang on. It was Lizzie 18, 15, oh, I can't think. I think we might have had four under three at one point, possibly, around about that, three and under. Um, Olivia was, Elizabeth was 18 months old when Olivia was born. Twins, Olivia was 15 months old when the twins were born. So just kind of just under, three under, four under three for a couple of months. So, you know, it was, it was hectic. It was, you're kind of in it and you think, that's all you can kind of concentrate on. Now it's different because I've been there and I've done that intense. And now I've got little ones, but it doesn't feel anywhere near as intense because we've already had that experience, if that makes sense. And I can, I kind of almost know what to be, what we're strict on. I mean, the older ones are always messing about and they're always taking the mix saying, you know, you were really much stricter on us than you are on the little ones. And I think, well, yeah, we were because you know we didn't we didn't have a clue what we were doing we were just trying our best to muddle through and and you know do what everybody thought we should we thought we should be doing quite a lot of the time whereas now I parent how I want to parent and I know which things to kind of just let slide by and and what not to um what to pick up on sorry and what not to you know and what to maybe I, I probably would have been on at them for everything the older ones when they were little but I don't need to do that now um, and plus they've got older siblings who kind of show them the right way to go as well. So it's it's kind of, it's much, much different parenting the younger ones now than it was the older ones when they were little. But I just remember thinking, you know, you've got all of this time ahead of you, years and years and years. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it feels, Elizabeth is 19 this year. And you think, I have no clue where that time went. You know, one minute she was literally four starting school and now she's 19 doing a degree. And you think, I don't I don't know where that time goes. So now I think as each one of them turns a new milestone, 
it actually gets harder because you know how quickly that time goes. See, now now I'm getting upset now. Um, it's because I, I don't feel very well either. But it's really hard because, you know, it's you've you've been there, you've done it, you've seen how fast it goes. And you kind of want to, it makes you want to take in each moment even more because you know you don't get that time back. You don't get that time to go back and do what you wish you'd done or done something differently or and I suppose in some ways the beauty of having a large family is that the things that maybe you wish you hadn't done or the things that you wish you had done or wish you'd done differently you could do that the second time round with or third or fourth or fifth time round with the little ones now that maybe you didn't do with the older ones maybe you didn't have the confidence to do with the older ones I know when we had Elizabeth I was not confident as a parent at all um didn't know what I was doing thought I was getting everything wrong um whereas now I'm much more confident as a parent with Florence and the little ones um there's lots of things I would have done differently and I do find I'm sometimes I've been having a little bit of a mini crisis at the moment anyway because I'm kind of in that trying to um find who I am kind of phase weird sort of phase I look at I've spent a whole lifetime of looking at other people who are more confident than I am um and thinking oh, I wish I could be more like that or you know I wish I could if somebody upsets me I wish I could say something but the fact of the matter is I can't change the person I am and I think I'm now coming to get that um I've wanted for years to I, I you know I look at people that even people that I'm friends with I look at them and think oh, I wish I could be more more like you more confident you know more direct tell people you know if you've upset me to just whatever but I find that very very difficult I've always been a people pleaser I've always been you know I will do anything for anybody um I'm better now at saying no but that's I still I'm like I'm really sorry but you know I I, I can't I still I wouldn't just come out and say no I'm not doing that you know because but then I think now that's who I am and it's like with the whole YouTube Instagram everything else I always said and I've said this so many times that the only way it will work for us is if I can be myself if I can be authentic I can just be who we are who I am um but sometimes you get beaten down by all the things that people say and the trolls obviously and you forget to take on board the nice comments of people that say really nice things about you and you kind of get bogged. So I've kind of been in a bit of a misty haze the last few weeks of working things out in my head um, and finding my place, learning to accept that I am that person, that I am like I am. I'm not like that person. I'm probably never going to be like that person. Even if I look at them and think I could wish I could be more like that, I can kind of try but equally I like who I am you know I like the fact that I will do things for people and you know I like to be kind to people and yes I'm better at saying no if I if it's too much for me to do but that's who we are that's the people that we are and I mean sometimes it has led me to being walked all over which is why now I'm better at standing my ground a bit and I'm also, I'm quite good on my own in the sense of I could happily trapes around my house for days and days and days on end, finding little bits and pieces to do and then think I haven't left the house. So luckily we have children that I have to leave the house, otherwise I'd just be in um, because I'm quite happy in my own company. Obviously, I'm happy with my own company and my children um, or our children that's that's my that's why I love it when we go away because it's just us not that I don't like other people I don't mean it like that but what I mean is you know it's just our little unit I'm happy with our little unit um although it's quite big because that's you know they're my people they're my people and that's who I want to be with all the time um but yeah I'm it's this kind of misty sort of hazy kind of finding there's lots of things going on in my head at the moment um and once I start talking about one thing, I start talking about another, another, another. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably get lots of vlogs like this over the next few days where I'm working things out in my head and kind of trying to figure out things. Um, but anyway, right now I'm starving. I'm going to go and get some lunch because I'm, I'm really, really hungry. And I've got a whole other load of washing to do and I need to hoover up um, under there. 
So see you in a minute. Is that your bottle, is it? Yes, it is your bottle. Right, I'm just jumping. I'm just jumping. So, oh, hang on, where am I going? Oof. Hang on, two seconds. Where's the thing gone? Uh, I've got the wrong one. Happy Dumpty Down on the wall. Has everybody stopped in? Yeah. Happy Dumpty High Grandpa! All the kids are just as old as you said. We're filming! Flipping heck, it's raining out there. Did everybody have a nice day at school? Yeah. yeah. I just screamed Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty? <laughs> Did you pl did you actually play outside today, or were you stuck in the we rain? Play outside. My Humpty Dumpty. Well, you actually played outside. Yeah. It's been pouring down. It's pretty much all of the day. Did you? Daddy, look, I have Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> like Humpty Dumpty. Let's have a look. Show me. Show me. Have you been making loads of Easter stuff? Have you? Daddy. 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 <coughs> oh, it's just one of those eggs. Is that from school? Is it? Yeah. There you go. Daddy. So. Yes. We designed our own Easter egg. And I made um, and I, I made. designed our egg, like a real egg, and I made a bunny. Oh, well done. I, I made I made a I made a farmer alien. A farmer alien? Yeah. I went to their classroom for that. You did what? So I made my a bunny. I made a bunny out of my egg. Yeah. And then my egg cracked, and I had to fix it. No way. Okay, no problem. So you've had a good day then? Yeah. Obviously we've got Easter coming up this weekend. Sunday, uh, we've got an Easter egg hunt planned. Oh, no. We have got Easter eggs. Easter eggs. Is, it, is it? It is this Sunday, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I thought it was on Saturday. No, Sunday. It's Easter Sunday. No, it's always Sunday. We've been learning about, about the Easter story. Good. Good. That's good when then. When Jesus was on the cross. Yes. And you got hot cross buns because that represents the cross, yeah. And they can also they, they've got like caramel and chocolate. Now. That's it. Hot cross. Right, so yeah, we've got Easter coming up on Sunday, which I is just cool. Said hot cross just to remind bun. you, it's Easter Sunday. We've got lots of fun planned for that one. The Cubby Dumpty cracked. <laughs> right, are we going to go home because you've got dancing? Yeah. Yep. Well, not you, Agnes, but you've got dancing. You too. Yeah. yeah? Too. Right. Okay, let's go home. Bags. Come on, get your bags. Oh, it's raining so much. Be faster.
camera's a bit wet. It's a little bit crazy out there. But I've got everybody home. Just gonna get all the stuff done now and they're going dancing. So I'm just gonna dry my camera off. <laughs> okay guys, it's about half past eight in the evening. I was just finishing editing this video and I realised that we hadn't finished the actual video itself. So Zoe's having a little snooze on the sofa there, bless her. So I'm just going to leave her have a little snooze. Um, but after I came in earlier, Zoe went out with the girls. Um, she didn't get a chance to do any more vlogging. Um, and the same with me. It was just all hands on deck, getting tea done, getting the kids dancing. Oh, she brought the little ones back. And they had their dinner. Then I did all the bathing and got everyone sorted out for bed and all that kind of stuff. And Zoe was out picking up teenagers and all that kind of thing, you know. So it's it's just a Wednesdays are a manic, manic night for us. There's lots and lots of stuff going on. Um, honestly, it's it's just it's truly a busy, busy night. So anyway, I just thought I'd wrap the video up and just say to you, please subscribe to our channel, guys. Please hit the bell for notifications. Drop us a like. Don't forget to uh, please don't forget to subscribe to subscribe we'd love to keep building our numbers up and uh if you hit the bell for notifications you'll get notified for all of our um, videos when they're uploaded and or up or or go live and you'll also get our notifications when we do a community post and that kind of stuff um and yeah and go over to our link tree in the video description below guys for um facebook instagram and um the leopard fox designs and also the um charity homepage, which we've just passed 1200 pounds that's absolutely amazing thank you so much for that guys really appreciate it and that just leaves me to say, thanks for watching guys. Thank you for all your continued support. We really, really appreciate it. Take care and we'll see you in tomorrow's live. Tomorrow's live. Get ready for that one. See you later.